Get yourself a pal like Joey. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 times Joey was the best friend on Friends. For this list, we'll be looking at those moments where Joey displays the selfless love he has for his friends and proves why he's the best bud anyone could ask for. If Hugsy means that much to Emma, then... Well, she can have him. Number 10, buying a friendship bracelet for Chandler. Out of every other friend in the group, it was Chandler who supported Joey the most, whether it was for his career or for financial means. To my best bud. In appreciation for his best friend's help, Joey buys him an expensive friendship bracelet to commemorate their bond. And while Chandler finds it embarrassing to wear it in public because of the bracelet's impact on his dating life, Joey has no such problems. How come you have two? <laughs> well, this one's for you. After initially being sour about Chandler openly insulting the gift, Joey is ecstatic when he thinks Chandler bought him an identical bracelet. Not only does he instantly forgive Chandler, Joey flaunts his bracelet for everyone to see, signifying how he values his friendship over his dating life. Check it out, we're bracelet buddies! <laughs> Number 9, Proposing to Rachel and Phoebe with his long list of exploits, and most of his relationships barely lasting for a few weeks, you'd think that Joey would be against marriage. However, he has absolutely no second thoughts when he thinks Phoebe's pregnant. It's a scary world out there, especially for a single mom. As soon as he finds out the news, Joey goes down on a knee and unveils a beautiful ring for Phoebe. Will you marry me? <laughs> Proposing marriage so that she doesn't have to struggle as a single parent, Joey proves he'll do anything for his friend, even if it means giving up his bachelor life. Rachel Green, will you marry me? What? 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 <laughs> After finding out that Rachel's really the one pregnant, he repeats the same move without hesitation. Considering his hurt expression after Rachel turns his offer down, we can be sure Joey planned to stick to his proposal. Number 8, Helping with Monica's Jellyfish Sting The trip to the beach house may have led to Joey being embarrassed by his friends more than anything else, but he was still the first one to step up when help was needed. Unfortunately, the help in question was something no one was looking forward to. When Monica's stung by a jellyfish, the only solution turns out to be peeing on the wound. It doesn't hurt that bad! If you want some privacy, you can use my hole. <laughs> While Chandler is reluctant, Joey volunteers to do the job to ease Monica's pain, even offering her a place in the hole he spent hours digging. And although he fails to perform when the moment comes, Joey keeps Monica's greatest embarrassment a secret, only revealing it to the gang once she gives her consent. She's my friend and she needed help. <laughs> if I had to, I'd pee on any one of you. <laughs> Number seven, taking Rachel on a date. If there's one thing we can be sure about Joey, it's that he's never low on dates. Joey, you don't want to go on a date with a pregnant lady. Yes, I do. And we're going to go out, and we're going to have a good time. Always willing to help his friends with dating advice, he did one better by being Rachel's date. At a time when Rachel felt left out due to her pregnancy, Joey stepped in to boost her self-esteem. I was going to wait until the end of the night to kiss you, but you're just so beautiful, I, I don't think I can. Oh, my God. <laughs> In order to avoid making it feel like a gesture out of pity, he goes the distance by giving Rachel the full Joey Tribbiani dating experience. This involves teaching her his dating techniques and letting Rachel show her own. It's gotta be rough. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's really tough. You know, sometimes I think, wow! <laughs> nice move! Uh -huh. By the end, a grateful Rachel appreciates Joey making her feel special, going so far as to calling it her best date ever. Number 6, Dancing with Trigger to prevent Monica and Rachel from getting evicted Having grown up being extremely protective of his sisters, Joey has a soft spot when it comes to respecting women's feelings. This is why, when the building super Mr. Trigger makes Rachel cry, Joey is quick to confront Trigger for hurting his friend's feelings. Now you made my friend Rachel cry, so now you're gonna go up there and you're gonna apologize to her unless you want me to call the landlord. Unfortunately, his bravado leads to Trigger threatening to evict the girls for illegally subletting Monica's grandmother's apartment. In order to prevent this from happening, Joey agrees to become Trigger's dancing partner, a prospect he clearly dreads. Ah, uh, you guys owe me big time. Despite his initial embarrassment and the friends' jokes at his expense, Joey stays true to his word, both to the girls and to Trigger as they dance up a storm. And it wasn't a hop, it was a pot of a red. <laughs> <laughs> Number 5, Saving Christmas Trees for Phoebe 
While Joey was always there for his friends, he went the extra mile for Phoebe whenever he could. And that's one thing you can cross off your list. Although we can't forget when he gave her the kiss of a lifetime to lift her spirits, an even sweeter gesture by Joey arrived at Christmas. <laughs> When he learns that Phoebe is against trees being cut down for the holidays, and she is traumatized when she witnesses what happens to the rejected ones, Joey makes use of his job as a Christmas tree salesman. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Setting up a surprise for her, he saves every leftover tree from their fate in the chipper, as an ecstatic Phoebe regains her holiday spirit. Number four, wishing for Chandler's job instead of himself winning the lottery. How do you clear this thing? <laughs> He might have owed Chandler more money than he could count, but Joey wished a potential fortune away in favor of Chandler's career. In this episode, Joey comes up with the idea to buy lottery tickets, a plan the other friends join in on. That reminds me, I thought we could use some extra luck, so I brought a wishbone home from work. To increase their chances, Monica has Phoebe and Joey pull on a wishbone, and while Joey ends up winning, he refuses to reveal what he's wishing for. Meanwhile, after a series of arguments and mishaps, the friends accept defeat in the lottery. However, Chandler's hopes for landing a job do come true, as Joey admits he wished for Chandler's job over becoming a millionaire. Considering he gave up his dream to buy the Knicks, this truly was a huge sacrifice. And I'd like to think I had a little something to do with it. Really? Why? Well, before with the wishbone, I, uh, I didn't wish we would win the lottery. I wished you'd get the job. Number three, becoming a vegetarian for Phoebe. Do we really need to mention how much Joey loves food? What's not to like? Custard? Good. Jam? Good. Meat? Good. <laughs> the incredible feats he achieved speak for themselves when he was in the mood to eat. What goes on top of the salami? Oh, pastrami. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're a genius. <laughs> And while he had a hard time deciding whether he preferred dating over food, Joey made it clear Phoebe came first. During her pregnancy, Phoebe's craving for meat overcomes her, and she's disappointed to realize she can't control it. But suppose, until the baby's born, I laid off it. No extra animals would die, you'd just be eating my animals. <laughs> Joey, I can't believe you would do that for me. Absolutely. Hoping to free her of any guilt for giving up on her principles, Joey volunteers to give up eating meat for the duration of the pregnancy, effectively becoming a vegetarian. We then watch as he struggles to contain his urges, but keeps his promise until the triplets are born. Well, there was his time in London. Well, when, when is a baby due? Six months. Oh. Hey, now, if a cow should die of natural causes, I could have one of those, right? <laughs> Number two, keeping Monica and Chandler's secret. Were you? Or were you not on a gay cruise? <laughs> Joey's late realization of important news is a major contributing factor to his character, but he was the first friend to figure out the secret relationship between Monica and Chandler. Once he puts the clues of their affair together, he's quickly sworn to secrecy by the two. Promise you won't tell. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Honoring his commitment is far from easy, as Joey is placed in hilariously embarrassing situations to hide Monica and Chandler's truth. Yeah, I'm disgusting. I take my underwear off in other people's homes. <laughs> Poor Joey not only has to endure these humiliations, but also pretends to be unaware even when he's clearly caught lying. <gasps> oh my god, that's Monica! <laughs> oh no, 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 Unlike Phoebe and Rachel, Joey takes no part in trying to fool Chandler to confess his feelings for Monica, and is ecstatic when everyone finds out the secret. Dude! <laughs> Our number one pick will really make you wish you had a friend like Joey, but before we get there, here are a few honorable mentions. Yeah, yeah, we went to a Mets game, we got Chinese food, and uh, you know, I love this woman. <laughs> <laughs> you have got competition, buddy. <laughs> Is it, does it not taste good? Let me try it. No, 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 no. <laughs> All gone. <laughs> mm, great nap. It really was. <laughs> <clears throat> you want me to uh, give you a hand with the foosball table? Nah, you keep it. You need to practice. They mean so much to me. They're, they're like my family, you know? And I, 
If you guys are gonna be fighting all the time, then I, I just... I don't think we can be together. It's just, it just can't work, okay? It can't. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Forgiving Chandler for Kissing Kathy Joey went through it all with Chandler, from their sadness over his moving out to embarrassing one another when competing for a girl's affections. Is she great or what? <laughs> However, Chandler truly crosses the line when he makes Joey's girlfriend Kathy cheat on him. While Joey forgave Chandler for kissing his sister because he was drunk, this betrayal is something he just can't seem to overlook. Look, I'm sorry, but there's nothing I could do. I think I'm in love with her. Who cares? You went behind my back? I would never do that to you! However, he gives Chandler one last chance by shutting him in a box for Thanksgiving. Just when it seems as if Chandler's lost Kathy forever though, Joey swallows his anger and rushes to free his best friend. Open the box! <laughs> what? He can still catch, okay? Come on, get out of there! Get out of there! On the verge of tears, he overlooks everything Chandler did and even gives him his blessing. All because he just couldn't bear to see Chandler unhappy. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.